Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you a couple ways on how to speed up a slower iPhone. Whether, you know, this is obviously an iPhone 11, so it's going to be one of the faster phones right now. But this is basically for if you have an iPhone 6 or below or even newer, who knows. Now the first thing I would recommend you to do is actually one thing that I didn't even think about is actually removing the widgets that are on the side of your device. So if you scroll all the way to the left and if you scroll all the way down, as you can see there are a ton of different widgets that take up a lot of different data, just type of power overall to load up these things constantly. So if you scroll all the way down and if you click edit right here, you'll get to the widgets page. So all you have to do here is either minus these or add these. Now if I were you, I would probably subtract all these. But I would scroll down and all you have to do is go and click the minus right next to them, click remove and go from there. But what I would also recommend you to do is add the battery segment or battery widget, which is usually here somewhere. I can't really find it right now. Or maybe I already have it up here and I can't seem to find it, which is really, really weird. But there is usually one that says power or something like that. And you're able to see all the battery life of all your devices, which is really cool. So remove these, that will enable some type of speed difference probably. However, another really major one is if you go into settings and if you scroll all the way down, into general. If you scroll down into background app refresh, which is right there, and here you'll see a bunch of different devices that'll actually be sucking up a little bit of battery life in the back end, but also a little bit of power to constantly be refreshing these things. And just like I said in my battery life's video, if you would disable each one of these, that'll be enabling a little bit more battery life and a little bit more power to allocate towards other things in your device. So if you go here and if you click, you know, I don't really care about Fruit Ninja having, you know, my background app, I don't need notifications or anything, so I can turn that off, and that'll help in the battery life department a little bit. But I would also recommend you to do is go through every single one of these and see which one you need and which ones you don't. Now what I will tell you is, is that apps like Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter, if you get notifications from those and you turn it off here, you will stop getting those notifications. So for Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram, I would probably recommend you to keep those on. But for all these ones like Vainglory, I don't really care if I get a notification for that or not. WhatsApp, I don't use WhatsApp, so you know you can disable that however you want to. So that's a really major one too. And another thing that kind of goes hand in hand is the location services. So if we go into your settings and if you scroll down into privacy, you'll see a bunch of these different things. If you go up here, you can just disable locations altogether if you don't really care. So I'll go ahead and disable it because I don't need it. But let's say you keep it on. You can also disable location services for each individual app that's here. So here for Paper.io, I just don't even want it on. I don't even want it even when I'm playing the game. And all these different ones, you can do the same exact thing. So system services here, you can go ahead and figure out here too. But that's another major one I would probably recommend you guys to look at. Now another big thing if you want to suck up a little bit less power on your device and speed up your phone a little bit is by disabling automatic app updates. So if you click on your name and you click on iTunes and App Store, here you'll see a couple things that constantly get updated in the background. Now me personally, I like having my apps and app updates, whatever. I like having those in the background automatically updating because that way I can have the most up-to-date apps whenever I do comparisons and stuff. But if you're somebody who constantly has a bunch of apps in the background and you have a slow phone, disabling this will probably help allocate some of that power to some of your devices to some of your more powerful needs that you need. So by disabling this and disabling app updates, that will speed up your phone a little bit. Now also another major thing is restarting your phone. Sometimes that's all it takes, especially if your phone is super glitchy, just restarting your phone will help it out, you know, by, you know, it's just like a computer. Sometimes you need to restart your computer. Same thing with your phone. Sometimes you need to restart your phone and that'll probably fix your power needs and also, you know, some random issues and bugs that you might have. Also, if you go update your phone, sometimes that might help the power, sometimes that might disable and you know slow down your phone a little bit but most of the time it'll speed up your phone a little bit which is what I've seen for mostly all my iOS devices. Now those are if you're stuck however if you are jailbroken what I would recommend you to do especially if you have an older phone like an iPhone 6 or 6s or whatever I would recommend you to use these two specific tweaks so I can't find my Cydia right here. Now remember this is only if you're jailbroken however if you are not jailbroken it's so easy to jailbreak I'll leave two tutorials in the description of exactly how to jailbreak. But what you want to do is you want to open up City and you want to search up these two things. You want to search up no slow animations, which is right here. You just want to click that and you just want to install this tweak. It'll basically make the phone feel so much faster. Now for a phone like an iPhone 11, it's not really needed, but for a phone like an iPhone 6s or iPhone 6, it'll make that phone feel noticeably faster, which is really cool. It won't make the phone, you know, speed up. It's not going to load up the apps faster, but it'll make the phone feel much faster. Now the other app does require a tweak, which I haven't installed yet, but it's not even that big of a deal. It just speeds up the home button. I think I talked about it in another one, but those are basically the main ways I would recommend you to speed up your phone in case if you run into any problems or anything like that. Let me know if there's any other tweaks or if you run into any problems or anything, but that's pretty much it. 
hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then. Thank you.